Imagine a city where the old collides with the new, where history breathes life into the present. Welcome to Savannah. This is a place where cobblestone streets echo stories of the past, where stately mansions stand as a testament to timeless elegance, and where a vibrant culture thrives amidst the moss-draped oaks. From its rich history and beautiful architecture to its lively art scene, Savannah is a city that captivates the senses and the heart. Join us as we count down the top 25 things to do in this captivating city. Starting off our countdown, at number 25, we have the historic Savannah Theater. Steeped in tradition, this theater is one of the oldest continually operating theaters in the United States. It's more than just a theater. It's a portal to the past, offering an eclectic mix of performances from musicals to comedy shows that continue to delight audiences. Moving along to number 24, we have Forsyth Park. This 30-acre park is not just about its famous fountain. It's a place where history, culture, and nature blend seamlessly. With its expansive walking paths, beautiful flora, and local events, Forsyth Park is a refreshing oasis in the heart of Savannah. At number 23, we come across the Wormslow Historic Site. This enchanting site is home to the famous Avenue of Oaks, a mile-long canopy of live oak trees that is a photographer's dream. But it's not just about the trees. The site also includes a colonial-era fort and a museum, making it a perfect blend of history and nature. Next up, at number 22, we have the Telfair Museums. This is not one but three unique museums in one. The Telfair Academy, the Owens Thomas House and Slave Quarters, and the Jepson Center together offer an immersive experience of art, history and architecture that's hard to match. Finally, at number 21, we have the Cathedral Basilica of St. John the Baptist. This magnificent cathedral, with its intricate stained glass windows and stunning architecture, is a testament to the city's rich religious history. But it's not just for the religiously inclined. The beauty of this place transcends religions, making it a must visit for anyone and everyone. These five spots are just the tip of the iceberg, so hold on as we dive deeper into the heart of Savannah. Moving forward in our countdown, coming in at number 20, we have the SCAD Museum of Art. This contemporary art museum is a gem in Savannah's crown, showcasing a diverse range of exhibits from students, alumni, and renowned artists alike. Its unique fusion of traditional and modern art makes it a must-visit for art lovers. Next up, at number 19, let's hoist the sails and head to the Pirate's House. This historic restaurant and tavern offers not just a hearty meal, but also a journey back in time. With stories of pirates and sailors echoing in its walls, this is a place where history meets hospitality. At number 18, we find the Bonaventure Cemetery. Now you might be thinking, a cemetery? Really? But trust me, Bonaventure isn't just any cemetery. It's a serene landscape of ornate tombstones, historic graves, and beautiful nature. It's a place where the past whispers its tales through the Spanish moss-laden trees. Venturing into the heart of the city, at number 17, we have the City Market. This bustling hub is a paradise for shopaholics and foodies. From artisan crafts to delicious local cuisine, it's a vibrant slice of Savannah life. And finally, at number 16, we arrive at the Mercer Williams House Museum. This beautiful historic home, famous for its role in Midnight in the Garden of Good and Evil, is a testament to Savannah's architectural elegance. With its antique furnishings and captivating stories, it offers a glimpse into the city's grand past. Savannah continues to surprise us with its rich history and vibrant culture, and we're just getting started. We're halfway through our countdown, and at number 15, we have the Savannah Historic District. This vast area, spanning more than 20 city squares, is an absolute must-see. Steeped in history, the district is a living testament to Savannah's illustrious past. The cobblestone streets, antebellum architecture, and moss-draped oak trees create a picture-perfect southern charm that's hard to resist. Moving on to number 14, we find ourselves on River Street. Now, if you're a fan of bustling waterfronts, River Street won't disappoint. This lively promenade with its eclectic range of shops, eateries, and galleries is a sensory feast. And let's not forget the stunning river views that make for a delightful backdrop as you explore. Next up, at number 13, we have the Owens Thomas House and Slave Quarters. This Regency-style mansion, now a historic house museum, provides a profound look into both the grandeur and the harsh realities of the early 19th century. Here, you'll find beautifully preserved architecture, alongside poignant exhibits on the enslaved people who lived and worked on the property. At number 12, we visit the Juliet Gordon Lowe birthplace. 
This isn't just any historic home. It's the birthplace of the founder of the Girl Scouts of the USA. The house offers a fascinating glimpse into Juliet Gordon Lowe's life and the enduring legacy of her organization. It's a place of inspiration and empowerment that you'll certainly want to explore. Finally, at number 11, we have the Jepson Center for the Arts. Part of the Telfair Museums, the Jepson Center is a modern marvel that houses an impressive collection of contemporary art. With its sleek design and innovative exhibits, it's a vibrant testament to Savannah's thriving art scene. These spots are proof that Savannah is a city that has something for everyone. From history buffs to art enthusiasts, from foodies to shoppers, Savannah's diverse attractions ensure that every visitor leaves with unforgettable memories. So, are you ready to continue our journey? Stay tuned as we unveil the top 10 things to do in Savannah. Cracking the top 10 of our countdown, at number 10, we have the Savannah College of Art and Design. This prestigious institution isn't just for students. With a stunning campus that boasts historic buildings, art installations, and a vibrant atmosphere, it's a must-see for anyone with an appreciation for creativity and culture. Moving on to number 9, we dive headfirst into the intriguing era of the Roaring Twenties at the American Prohibition Museum. Here, history comes to life with interactive exhibits and fascinating stories about America's most infamous dry spell. It's a captivating journey back in time that you won't want to miss. Next up, at number 8, we have something a bit spine-chilling, the Ghost Tours. Savannah is known as one of America's most haunted cities, and these tours will take you on an eerie exploration of its ghostly past. It's a thrilling blend of history, mystery, and a good dose of supernatural. At number 7 we find ourselves in the Colonial Park Cemetery. This historic burial ground dating back to the 18th century is not just a place of rest for Savannah's early inhabitants. It's also a tranquil oasis in the heart of the city, rich with history and adorned with beautiful monuments and moss-draped trees. Finally, sailing in at number 6, we have the Savannah Riverboat Cruises. These fantastic voyages offer a unique perspective of the city from the Savannah River. With the wind in your hair and the cityscape unfolding before your eyes, it's a truly enchanting experience. Each of these locations offers a unique glimpse into the soul of Savannah. We finally reached the top five, and starting us off at number five is the lively Savannah City Market. This bustling market is the heart of Savannah's nightlife. With a variety of restaurants, cafes, and specialty shops, there's always something new to discover. Live music and art exhibits add a dash of culture to this vibrant spot. Moving on to number four, we have the Georgia State Railroad Museum. This impressive museum offers a unique glimpse into Savannah's industrial past. With meticulously restored vintage trains and interactive exhibits, it's an absolute must for history buffs and train enthusiasts alike. At number three, we find the Savannah Bells Ferry. This charming ferry service offers breathtaking views of Savannah's waterfront. It's a delightful way to traverse the city and a perfect opportunity to take in the stunning river scenery. Number two takes us to the Tybee Island Lighthouse, one of the oldest and tallest lighthouses in America. It's a beacon of history and beauty. Climb its 278 steps for a panoramic view that's worth every step. Finally, at number one, we have the Savannah Historic District. This district is a living testament to Savannah's rich history, with perfectly preserved 18th and 19th century architecture. Walk through oak-lined streets, past antebellum mansions and historic churches, and you'll feel like you've stepped back in time. And there you have it, our top 25 things to do in Savannah, a city that truly has it all. From historic landmarks to vibrant markets, Savannah offers a unique blend of experiences. It's a city where the past meets the present, where every corner tells a story. From the grandeur of the Cathedral Basilica of St. John the Baptist to the artistic pulse of the SCAD Museum of Art, the charming Savannah Historic District to the lively city market, each experience contributes to Savannah's rich tapestry. So, are you ready to explore Savannah? The city is waiting to share its stories with you.